guys are already joining me in the courtyard. We'll do some grief now. Good evening, everybody. It's Wednesday, June fourteenth. We're here on Sumari Bala. A little bit of haze in the air. Must have been a little dust storm going on earlier today. Nothing to worry about. These insurgents I'm following can handle it. They got their headgear. Uh, this is Squad Ops. Uh, my name is the Muff Bandit. I'm here tonight with CMYK Matter. How's it going, everybody? Nice to see you back again. And we are going to be giving you guys the play-by-play -play of Operation Foxheart. Yeah, it's going to be exciting. Good op, Pitts. old op. Yeah, this one's been around a long time. It's one of the, I think it's the first one we we solidified on Sumari. So this op's been around a long time. It's the U.S. against the insurgents. The insurgents are holding Palace right here. That is Charlie 3, keypad 5-ish area. They're they're going to defend it. They're going to drop a fob. They're going to have a logi dump and to put a couple of emplacements up. And the U.S. have got to come and take it over. With that, I'll send it over to Matter, and he'll tell you what the U.S. are going to be bringing or who's leading them. So the uh, the U.S. they get themselves a nice little Humvee, and they're going to be organizing themselves here. They're going to be trying to push out of U.S. Maine and move themselves across this map and push themselves on the palatial estate. Now, the uh, the interesting thing about this operation is that there are restrictions for vehicles and infantry. Um, they can only move across bridges. They cannot cross water on their own. So those uh, bridge choke points are going to be really rough for the United States. I'm looking forward to seeing how they try to subvert those things. That is always an exciting time during any operation on Sumari. See, there, there's a river running through the town, and the, it is just so muddy and gunky that you can't walk through. It's like quicksand in there. Vehicles will get sucked up. Units will get sucked up. So they have to utilize bridges. And that is going to be a key defense point for these insurgents if they choose to push out, which they most likely will. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. The uh, the big problem that they're going to run into is picking the right bridges to defend. There are quite a lot of bridges, and if you push out too many squads with too many people, too many fire teams, you're going to end up wearing yourself really thin, and you have to have good you know, QRF teams ready to move, maneuver themselves to where they can get themselves into position to provide a proper defense. So it's going to be interesting. I'm excited to see how they crack this nut tonight. Oh yeah, definitely. I think they'll try to spread out, but I don't know. I don't know. I haven't heard much of the strategy yet. And actually, the insurgents are doing a platoon briefing right now. And you know what? Just if anyone's wondering if it looks a little different, it does look a little different. They've updated some of the admin camera stuff. Like you can now see rally points. They have highlighted rally points and fobs so that you can find those a little easier as an admin. Also, they up the size of some of the more far-off player names so that you have an easier time reading them. Put a little drop shadow on them so that you can see them a little better. It's kind of nice. I, I got to say, for people like you and me, it's probably the most beneficial. Yeah, and you'll notice as I look at them, their name gets bigger. As I put them in the center of my screen, their name yep. gets bigger yep. and it highlights them a little bit. So that's some new stuff that we'll be playing with. If they can push into that area and then blow them all up. Remember that I and we'll actually, well. we'll listen to Satan right now. Use it with that. And they no longer disappear. Perfect. All right, if there's no questions, I'll have your squad leads break you out. Hail yeah, Satan. The ID on the green fob mark, is that an okay place for an ID? The green fob mark? Which on, green fob uh, mark? Charlie 3. Um, they Charlie. need to cross the bridges. And be clear yeah. as well, we all need to cross the bridges, infantry and vehicles. So uh, they're going to be crossing the bridges, but we can't place the IDs on the bridge. We have to have them two buildings back. Your squad there will tell you where to place the ID. Mm -hmm. All right, if it's all clear, squad leads break them out. Man, this is one. What's up? Um, placement. off live, I'll pro I'll place down hey, the south east palace. gun if you want to place down the southwest one. We can just get them up really quick. Good thing. All right, okay. All right, so here's what's going on. Since we missed most of that uh, briefing. 
Um, in snow one squad is going to stay on Palace, mm -hmm. and then the three, the three little fob markers are the fourth. I guess it that's where the four squads are going to be. <laughs> maybe, maybe one's going to go north. I, I heard the original plan was one squad west, one squad east, one squad on Palace, and then one squad to the south. So that might leave the north open a little bit. Yeah, you're uh, but since we're here, I'll go over command and his oh, squad yeah, leaders. Okay, so. For the insurgents, command is Satan. I was obviously hovering right beside him during that. He's got four squad leaders. No particular order. They are Kirkley, Pure Paradise, Odessa, and Truth Realm. All pretty full, too. Like A couple of them only got six, but they're going to do just fine. Satan's an experienced commander. He's got experienced squad leaders. They've all done it before. Should be good organization, good comms. Uh, what do you got for command and squad leaders on the U.S.? Okay, who am I yeah, over on the U.S. side, we've got uh, Best Pony commanding. I think this might be one of his earlier uh, uh, command dies in your squad that I've seen. You try and link up with so other than that, we've got his squad leaders, you know, Shadowed Ritual, squads, Server Air 404, set the rally point Tedish, and Xbit are going to be leading these squads. For, so uh, all uh, very uh, experienced uh, guys, uh, all people uh, that uh, know what they're doing uh, and can uh, definitely uh, handle uh, the... Dies, tasks that are camp, given to them tonight, so I don't think that that's going to be a problem at all. Awesome, awesome. So we'll see some good action. Understood. That's the hope, Just anyway. Remember. Any yeah. other? I'll Just go over some more programs. Obviously, defense. Yeah. Insurgents start a palace right here. The U.S. is starting at their main. They right, can't questions? block bridges, and they have to cross What's bridges. The they can't they run through the river. Course? At least the oh. main river that that's running through Sumari here. Just the main river. Check this out. That little, those rock. little tributaries, they can, they can splash through those. They can it's jump them. It's fucking loophole. A it's a loophole. Wait, I want to see, I want to see your phone. I want to, I want to call you. you. No, I'm not pulling. So, phone. fucking hyper's gonna ban you. I think we're just waiting. I, he I hear <laughs> platoon <laughs> briefing <laughs> by, <laughs> by it's uh, U.S. Are they platoon briefing right now? They've actually already pretty much done it. Um, okay. They're gonna be yeah. spreading guys out <laughs> mostly to the north and ignoring the southern approach pretty <laughs> much altogether. <laughs> Well, um, most people have seen that video of the <laughs> Southern Bridge Massacre. <laughs> I played in an yeah, it was a little, it was a little crazy. So they are going to be trying to spread their forces mostly out over north, and it doesn't look like they are going to mess with that Southern Bridge whatsoever. They they have decided that they have had enough of that, and uh, tonight is not going to be that for them. So we'll see how that goes. It seems like they're going to try to probe a little bit. They were talking about getting one team to kind of move in a little bit and see what kind of contact they get and then responding to that contact with overwhelming force. So we'll see how that pans out for them. Kind of probe it a little bit, and if they're not getting much in the way of contact, then push an entire force through. If they're reaching heavy contact, pull back, reassess, and move somewhere else. So we'll see how that works out for them. That sounds like a good plan. It's definitely uh, like the, the, the main the step you number one is getting across that river that would for the U.S. <laughs> We've seen matches pretty much over he looks like he's right after so trying to cross. <laughs> yeah, it's, you listening up? it's exciting to see what will happen with that Humvee. The Humvee Humble is such a vital so asset that it can be the winner or loser of a game depending oh, on if you good. hold on to it or if you don't and if you have to push well, in on foot without that big 50 cal firing over your shoulder can, that's a little bit of a scary prospect can't, 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 oh yeah and the insurgents get they get raiders and scouts <laughs> that they can you know drop some anti-tank mines or place ieds not to mention they can drop a couple of discus as well i guess we should speak about that a little bit we had a new patch for a squad just earlier this week, patch 9.5 with the alpha, yeah, it's like which one of the things that it fixed was adding the ability for IEDs and mines to stay indefinitely through the entirety of the match. So it used to be that there was a little bit of a bug that IEDs and mines would despawn after a few minutes, or I think it was 10 minutes, actually, on the ground. That is no longer an issue. So these insurgents can push out as soon as they need to, Get those IEDs and mines yeah. down, and then know that they're going to be there for the entirety of the match. Cool. Yeah, that'll be a definite, right, definite well, changer here, especially if they can get them, you know, anti-tank mites right on the bridges. That's going to make it real mm -hmm. tough for the U.S. to to successfully cross without 
risking lives trying to dig up those lines. Uh, well, they'll need to push out over. infantry forces first to try to recon those bridges, look at them, understand what's going on, make sure there are no mines, no IEDs, really give them a hard look. And if you push out too many infantry forces, they're going to get popped in the head, so we'll see how that goes. Or, you know, trying to dig up an IED and having it go off directly in front of your face, which is terrifying. So we're live in one second. We're live now. We're live. Live, live, live. Oh my god, okay, go, 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 go. are fanning out. They're going out everywhere. We'll just get up and watch them scatter. There they all go. Mainly to the south. I'm looking straight south right now. It's really quiet up here. All right, the fob has been dropped right on Palace. Satan, the command, has moved himself south a little bit. Should Odessa's we have taken her squad to the west. Pure Paradise has taken his guys to the west between the first two southern bridges. And far south is going to be Truth Realms, guys. Ears on, enemy Humvees coming in. Looks from like the west. Poke Smot and Mr. Uh, Noodles, as the, well as Big Yes, south. are cruising oh, that Humvee shit. Here directly they across the bridge to the south. Oh, no, they stopped just short of it. Oh, they scooted there. Look at that. The rest of the forces have actually pushed off completely north and are nowhere near this. This yeah, is a, a south very south. early push from the U.S. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like it's holding. P, is that you? Yep. Yo, that's pretty full of food. All right, here comes the shots from Exbit. He's he hasn't hit anybody, but they've made themselves known now. I'm just doing a little recon. Yeah, there's definitely some big noise, some big booms coming out. That 50 cal is very loud and very well heard. The insurgents have all but done everything but focus on this bridge there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them looking. I see a raider kit. No, no, no. There's a raider right here. He's got his anti-tanker nade. That's Carpy. He's waiting. Oh, that's another change with 9.5. They actually do work now, those anti-tanks. Yeah, exactly. Yep. So this will be good to see. No casualties yet. No, no casualties yet. wants us off this room. He wants us further back. Here in local chat, fun guy and Fafinator getting off the roof. By orders of their squad leader, dangerous. Their bullet penetration can kill them. You know, and it's just four guys: Poke Smot, Big Yes, Mr. Noodles, and Xbit on this western front. In the meantime, there is a parade walking down the streets in the north. I just got a line of red dudes up there. And you know, every I mean, no one's looking north. Wookie and Divine, the only two guys north for the insurgents right now. Yeah, it looked like they were trying to use that Humvee to get some sort of advanced, uh, I want to say, you know, make some noise, get some eyes on them, Sarah, and hope that they shift over a good amount of forces to try to cover that west side. So far, it seems to be working. They've got some scouts out to the north, but the vast amount of the insurgent forces seem to be on the west. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's nothing but a distraction from the looks of it while the rest of them move around. All right, guys, we're going to start splitting off, heading direct east. Let's comb through this, but I, uh, there is the sound is on. They, they've still got uh, like audio on the Humvee. Pure Paradise is calling it out. Sounds like it's backing up, but but it's still there. They can still hear it. Oh, absolutely. You can hear that engine for quite a bit away. And I see that there's already an IED down up here on the actually on the north side of the river. They just kind of where'd they put it? It's I don't know, right in here somewhere. Oh, right by the the little footbridge. It's right in here somewhere. I'm gonna find it. Remember, just keep your Almost squads right on it. out in the open. Best Pony it. seems to be splitting up his forces now. He has sent one squad out north, and it looks like that is Shadowed Ritual squad heading out north. Uh, command, my squad's in position to start pushing south. And he has sent them out north, and then it looks like he has sent the rest of his forces down to the south a little more. So you're seeing Shadowed Ritual pushing across these northern fields here. It looks like they're trying to stay low, stay out of sight, and maybe let the other squads get in first contact. These guys seem to be pushing themselves quite a bit of ways around north. Oh shit, it looks like Carpy, Carpy has gone down. 
I don't know how he got killed. Rest in peace, oh, Poke Smot got him with a grenade launcher. That's what happened. Oh, so that's that's one. That's a raider kit that's down. That's oh, rough. One, smoke grenade. One guy to grenade threw a smoke onto the. Do I hear? There's no way they could. Yep. They have plans to cross that, do they? Crazy. Yeah, the more you can drive down there, the better. I don't see this coming at all. I hear Mighty Memes and Damon the Rapper are both pretty nervous that they're getting shot at. They're crawling out of there. Make sure you're falling uh, back. You're right. Well, I don't know about you, but if I hear a 50 Charles cal firing over my head, I'm going to be a little uh, sad yeah, about that as well. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're <laughs> full prone heading south trying to get out of there. You know, for the most part, the insurgents aren't moving. They're Hopefully all just they sitting here hanging out, looking around. Make sure your scout's ready. Satan's got a S Klein yeah, pitched up in a those two. Dishka. Oh, we get a nice look at that cool new black smoke, too, down there. That's nice. Yeah, that is cool looking. I like that black. That's cool. Makes it a little tougher to see through. Right. Looks like burning tires or something. Yeah. This is what I call smart, dude. Preparing to cross I'm looking. South. Yeah, beginning to cross now. It's creepy. I'm on to mine. He's got binocs out. All right, squad one, make sure straight you have north. Oh, uh, they're getting closer. Oh, they might have I hear up to us. In, in local, <laughs> yeah, they see him. They're spotted north right now. now. I don't know if that's been relayed yet, but that is... Demine definitely sees him. He's reported it to Wookie, if nothing else. Oh, no, they're going east. Oh, gosh, they are. Sit rep in the north. Oh, that is they... so cool. I can see the enemies on the map now. I didn't even notice yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. I can they... totally see. No, I... They cleaned up so much with admin cam. It's so much nicer. We're going to have a lot better uh, ability to can see I what's going on on the field, I think. One of my guys to spawn. They just joined. Well, they're about, I person. mean, 20 meters, and this IED could wipe out half the team. The IED is right in, it's in here somewhere. I don't know where, but it's, I'm almost Somewhere right up above on it. the north, yeah. Uh, we're reporting lots of contacts on the north side, like around ancient cannot, mounting for an assault. Yeah, Copy. okay, I'm back up. I don't know where that IED is Hold at. your positions, guys. They can push to the north. So you guys are seeing here, it looks like two squads are pushing around to the north here. They're trying to flow through these buildings and make sure that they're all clear. I can hear these guys calling it out in local. Left clear, right clear, corner clear, building clear, room clear. Really good communication going on from the U.S. side right now. We'll see how that communication holds up once they actually hit some reasonable contact because no plan survives first contact, as we know. Most of the time, they don't. You know, that Humvee is still being a great distraction down to the southwest. That just they are. They're, they're still just uh, firing in there, making sure that oh my God. every once in if a while... If they blow that IED right efficient. now... Oh, God. They need to blow that IED yesterday. Oh, yeah, they're I'm, definitely I'm close. Oh, come on, blow that thing. Oh, there it is! And that is a squad lead down. And Fig are both down. And a third one, too. Three guys killed. What a beautiful IED. That was so cool. Who that got that? That removes the command out element immediately. That's crazy. I'm not even sure who who did that. It's not crediting them with the kill. Oh, there it is. It was Demine. Demine's mine. Great job by Demine. Good patience. Great job, Demine. That is amazing. Triple kill with the IED. That squad is hit the brakes. They're afraid to move. In the meantime, the rest of them are off to the west, east. Shadow's squad is squad three, definitely reeling quite a bit. I just heard Best Pony over command chat bridge, say that, uh, well, that sucks, as he heard that three of them were down. This was apparently going to be their advanced scouting squad, and they are now cut down to six people, as well as losing their command element. That's pretty dirty. Yeah, that would uh, that would have been Fig, It's Crispy, and Shadowed Ritual that all got taken out right there. Excellent IED explosion. J. Remick has taken over control for that squad, it seems. He's trying to 
let everybody know what's going on with them. He's got his command element transferred over to him, and he's trying to let them know that he is now taking over control. Communication is going to be a rough time, though. Yeah, so there's no doubt that the insurgents know the U.S. are up there, and the pretty sure the U.S. know that they're on to them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, knowing... Knowing that they just got IED'd, that means that they definitely know that there has to be eyes on them. Because if you so get IED'd, position, that somebody means somebody was looking at your location. It's not like those mines just go off automatically. Yeah. There had to be eyes on them, and it looks like the mind had himself a great overwatch position to see these guys moving around on the IED. Uh, Ninja crazy. Cleef just asked if there's a delay, and uh, Bots and Science is right. There's, there's no delay. Not at all. Oh, Wookie MT has opened up that AR on the north and took down Slinger with a shot. He took a couple shots back himself, but he has now peeled back. He's bandaging. He's a little hurt, but they just lost another one for this advanced scouting team. Slinger goes down to Wookie MT. Just prep yourself for now. Smokes first. We're going to wait five seconds and push. Copy. Now hearing that Humvee coming around back north, it sounds like they're moving it. They did. They are. It's coming up to meet them. They left Big Yes and Poke Smot down in the south. Xbit and Mr. Noodles are driving that around. Xbit is actually the command element for this squad. Yes. So him putting himself on the gunner seat, that's a little dangerous. You can get you can get poked out of that pretty easy. Yeah, but he's got the best view also. So it's and he does, take. absolutely. All right, so we're seeing him coming up to this north bridge. And actually, I think they're going all the way around to support the squad on the east, and that would be Tedish's squad. Hey, Best Pony's also over there. He's relinking back up with the rest of the squad that, that had pushed out here to the east, yeah. Best Pony watching oh, that Humvee roll by him right now, telling them to get up to the front, provide some cover fire. They have to know that their advance is called out by this point oh i was just gonna say there's excellent communication on this insurgent team right now odessa just called the humvee passing by the north bridge going eastbound so you can see hyper evo got his eyes on jay la chapelle's right, trying to position right himself to get a good look I on the bridge they stopped i don't think they see anything yet in it but they're close the u.s are coming yeah we've got yep. merrick more each kids a couple other guys up here taking an advanced look out Pretty quiet at the moment. They're trying to, to see where they're going to come from. Actually, I just heard Pony say over command chat, we're going to kick this party off. So it looks like they are about to maneuver themselves in. Is that bridge Here mine? Here we drive. go. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Um, the north bridge is mine. The so south, this east nine, bridge, not mine nine, at all. There's nothing eight, on it. No mines seven. whatsoever. Yeah, I'm looking at that. Nothing on it at all. There's a countdown from Pony, and then he's pushing them in. Yep, Satan saying just let the Humvee shoot. If you can shoot the gunner, take him out. Otherwise, stay in cover. Crazy Thanks Russian, Sightless, Moose, and Curse pushing themselves across this field, going nice and slow. It looks like they're trying to hide their avenue of advance. Meanwhile, on the north side, we've got this advanced scouting squad pushing in really hard on Wookiee MT's positioning. Oh, here we they go. They are trying to cross. Here comes the north bridge push. And they made Under it. A smoke. lot of them. Yep. No no casualties yet. The mind is really hurt here. Bird oh, IED oh. takes out Bombardian. Only one kill there. That was Bombardian. But still, the the morale effect of that thing. The mind is about to get eyes on Griff here, who tries to push through. He injures Griff. Your waifu is shit returns fire and takes down to mine, so he got those three kills for himself with that IED, and that was some great work. That's going to be the end oh. of his contribution there. Wookie tossed a grenade. Let's see where it hits. Pretty close. Wookie's fallen back. U.S. have thoroughly crossed. They've they've made it across every bridge so far. They're they're just pushing on the eastern bridge now. There's no not a lot of not a lot of forces down here to block them. Truth Realm's gone down. J. La Chapelle went down. I mean, 
Hyper Evo and Serial have nowhere to run to. There they go, they're getting the heck out. That was a great little push that the U.S. made here. Even Pokesmot and Big Yes pushing across on the way southern side, getting ready. Hyper Evo gets taken out on the east. Damon the Rapper gets taken out on the west. So the insurgents do have a few more kills right now, but... Uh, the uh, the U.S. have got position now. They're all across the bridges. They are, they they see victory now. Well, now it's just a matter of cleaning out all of these little buildings. Every single kill angle, every single murder hole that you're going to come across, they are all dangerous. Here we've got Fulcrum, Tear Gun, Cool Breeze, and Legacy of the Void pushing in on Wookie MT. They don't see him yet. And just over here, we've got Bird Person, J. Remick, Griff, and Nacho trying to fight with Jack Reynolds and Magnetic. Trading fire back and forth. Looks like one of these guys went down there. I'm not sure who that was. Bird Person pushing up as well. It's like Jack Reynolds is taking up post in the Mosque Tower. That he is. That minaret can be deadly or it can get you killed. J. Remick takes a few shots at him. Doesn't manage to hit Jack, but he took a few shots at him. Looks like they both shot. We're unsuccessful. They scared each other. Ooh, grenade comes in. Injures bird person. So far, Meanwhile, so on the though. eastern front, it's all U.S. There's Turner and Serial over there. Was that friendly or enemy smoke on that bridge? U.S. have, bridge. US have all but taken school. Tedish is off to the north side. He's leading the way. He's a squad leader over there. Oh, and you know what? You're going to see a lot of different cameras, too. We'll go over those when it calms down a second here. Got about 11 other guys tonight that are that have cameras besides Matter and myself. They're the ones that make this all possible. Oh man! Oh, Mori eats kids gets dropped by Hitchens. Kahuna was taking the shots from him, and he's bandaging now. Hitchens is throwing some more SKS fire. Here comes a grenade. That was actually a well-thrown grenade. There was just no one there to kill. The Hess first mix. U.S. squad on the north is starting to get eyes on Palace now, finally. Command. Should, uh, Down in the southeast now is Best Pony and Mr. Noodles in the Humvee, and they've taken some shots from Hess yeah, and just no, have them pushed you. Charlie three, keep They're just getting some eyes on Palace, trying to, cool trying to move in. It's going to be a little rough for them. Best Pony taking a, he's just glassing it up, looking around, trying to make sure that uh, their push is well covered. The road, like up a three. Copy. Three Humvees coming back across. The insurgents the are very, they're spread out very far. Got a lot of, you can see how spread out the insurgents are. Well, the U.S. are, are pretty, they're staying pretty close together. Even the Humvee is coming to join them. Yeah, right now I've got insurgents, and that that Humvee just ran into an anti-tank mine, and it's down. Wow. That was command. Best pony that... was in there. So oh he... no! Yeah, so that's gonna give a be a hit to the U.S. Hey, be advised, guys, crossing the south bridge at least two. Great, great anti-tank mine. Whoever placed that, that was wonderful. I'm still up above here. Uh, to the north is a full squad of of U.S. soldiers, as as well as the east. That's basically where most of their forces. In the meantime, down to the south is a full squad for the insurgents. They're so far south, there's really nothing going on down there for them. And it's it's getting quiet again. Yeah, the, uh, the forces are taking themselves a little breather right now. It looks like Tear Gun, Fulcrum, Legacy of the Void, Cool Breeze, this little fire team stopped to heal themselves up. They had a little fight with Wookie MT, who you can see is down here now. They traded some fire back and forth. Fulcrum got injured, but they were able to bandage him up. They still have their medic up, so beautiful they were able to do that. They are very close to the palatial estate right here, where you can see that the fob is down. Command Satan just sitting in there, ready to protect it. But these guys are working well together. I'm over atop of Hitchens at Kahuna right now, and Hitchens is shitting his pants. He he just got shot. It's Tedish outside. Tedish is outside screwing with him. Oh, 
Nope, Tedish just got dropped. Yep, Tedish got dropped by Space Monkey. Right here. This is a not a good place at all. I got him, I got him. No, you did fucking not. I'm gonna peek it, fuck it. What the fuck? How did he get up there without parking? Yeah, so dude, Tedish is down, and then Immune monkey. Style straight, and right? Saloon number 12. All right, I'm getting the fuck out of here, dude. Yep. There was one more up on that roof, uh, and he got absolutely one-tapped by Kahuna when he pushed up on there. I believe it was Kahuna. Might have been Hitchens, but he got absolutely domed when he stepped up onto the roof. This body right here was him. Afterwards, Saloon expressed some condolences that were none too friendly. <laughs> Immune in Saloon, just trying to hold it. Oh, and Saloon takes down Kahuna. He just yells Hitchens. out that he's taking them down. Hitchens and Space Monkey hiding now. They're on notice. Oh, gosh. Hitchens has got a whole squad to his west. If he looks through that murder hole, he might actually get a good shot on. He is nowhere to be found in here. Never mind. He relocated. Saloon, Merrick, and Immune are trying to clear these buildings out. They know that they killed one there. They might think that they have actually eliminated all of the presence in the area, but after hearing those shots go out from Hitchens, they are going to know that that is not the case anymore. There must have been two. All right, and uh, things got really quiet on the insurgent side. It's because Satan is down. And wow. That could be a problem in the south because full squad, Pure Paradise has his full squad in the south. There's, there's just waiting down there. I think they're waiting for orders, but they don't know that their command is down. So they could be sitting there a while unless they start asking questions. Kirkley's got... Oh, no. Satan is still up. Never mind. There's Satan. I'm on Satan. He's still alive. Insurgents with a definite like kill lead at this point. Now, They've got 20, while the U.S. only has 13. So that's a seven-man advantage. Can be rough pushing through these buildings. I know that initial cross along the river is always a difficult time. These guys are just trying to glass the windows over in Palace. Tear gun here in this building. Let's go in here and see what he's looking at up on the second floor. It looks like he is he's checking out the palatial estate, trying to see what kind of fortifications they have here. They've got a lot of sandbags, a lot of things ready for when the U.S. does try to make their inevitable push. And like you said, they still have that full squad out south that is just holding there, ready to reinforce if that palace takes contact. Good luck, bud. Yeah, and I don't know if that's their plan, but but they just spotted the three guys, Pokesmot, Big Yes, and uh, to the south, so the two guys here. wonder if they were holding just in case of a, a little sneaky play where there's initial contact on the north, and then you push in a big force on the western side unexpectedly. They're holding there just in case of that, but as we know... There's only that little little fire team down there, Pokesmont and Big Yes. You know what's throwing me off? All the cameras flying around have up arrows, and it makes me think they're alive. Yeah, yeah. Usually totally. it has that little. Throw me for a loop. Usually it has that little admin cam symbol, but not anymore for some of them. I wonder if that's a bug. Oh, there they are. They're hitting Palace. That they are. They're pushing in now. Satan's right above three of them down there. Oh, that Dropped grenade. Close. Kirkley's there. Jack Reynolds is in there. Cool Breeze, Legacy of the Void, Tear Gun are pushing up. Cool Breeze is getting ready to breach. Stay behind me. For the most part, it's just Jackal. Oh, Jack Reynolds goes down. Gunfire oh, coming in like firing crazy. and a lot of bullets. Yep. Tear Gun and Cool Breeze pushing in. Legacy of the Void does go down. I'm pushing in right now. Squad 4, you're just going to hold cover squad 2 while they, uh, they push out. Hey, they're inside on our first floor. We need to oh, this is a problem. Cool Breeze just called out that it's clear through here, but it is not. Magnetic is watching this hallway. Satan and Kirkley holding it. Tear gun goes down. Who else is down here? Oh, we're down to one. There goes Griff as well. Oh, Cool Breeze is the only one in there. Is that him? Yep. Cool yep. Breeze, the last guy. He's prone by the sandbag, but he's got. It's like Magnetic looking right at him. Oh, Cool Breeze goes down as well. Oh, Magnetic. good little triple. 
Yeah. Magnetic just held this like a boss. He absolutely locked down this hallway. He says, this is my hallway, and you will not be entering from this doorway. That is rough. That's hard on the U.S., seeing everybody go down as you tried to hold this area here. Let's see there, 15 to 26 of the insurgents. Defense has paid off. They've really hit them with some casualties right now. Absolutely. Bird person and Nacho trying to move around on the southern side here to try to do another breaching on this yeah. south side. They're second guessing themselves, though. I hear them talking in local saying maybe we should move back and push around to the west side. If they push off too far south, though, they are going to run into this entire squad that's pushing up. Is that SM Pure Paradise? Looks like it. Yeah, they, they're moving north. What's, uh, let's try to get an insurgent count. I got two, four, six. Six insurgents left? Is that all? Oh, They're there's in... plenty of insurgents left. There's those guys oh, down south. Oh, I'm sorry, south. U.S. I'm sorry, U.S. U.S. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Nacho, Bird Person, those are two. And then Saloon, Immune Style. And then the two in the south. And then Big yes and Crazy Smart, Russian right? and Sightless, and that's it. Oh, oh Big Yes and Pokemon Russian as well. Oh, They're yeah, out okay. to the east. All right, so there's seven. Crazy Russian is dead. Ah, yeah, seven. Okay. Oh, double nade right there. Two of them go down. Little trade, it looks like, by Space Monkey and whoever was there with him. Nope, just Space Monkey died. In the alleyway between, uh, and the building There's a Toro asking, what is the record number of players participating in One Life Operation? We have actually had full servers before, so 80 people completely yeah, filled. Technically, technically, you count the two uh, commentators. We've had to turn but... them back. We've had to turn people away. Yeah, both teams... That we have definitely had that. And we're close tonight. It was 30, 30 something on 30 something. 33, 34 currently. So quite a lot of people. Pretty quiet again. I'll follow. I'm going to sit here and watch Nacho and Bird Person push in. They're the closest. Yeah. They're going to have themselves a little bit of a rough time here. Communication is going to break down whenever you get this late in the match, and so many of the command elements are down. I don't know that there are any command elements still up for the United States. The no, there are not. There are no command elements currently up for the United States team. There's a lot going on over at the school here. Oh, sightless, laying down here. Oh, and Sneaky Sniper totally missed him. Shot right over him. There we go. So that's sightless right here in the and they just shot right over him, didn't even see him here. Someone shot right over top of him. Us, but like they got taken out southwest. He's just hiding down in that alleyway. He's praying they don't see him. He has to hear all those footsteps next to him. That's Heartbreaker, Sneaky Sniper, Jackal Purcell. What's it like there, squad? We have one so it looks There's like just four insurgents right here, looking, just looking for sightless. He's not moving. They're not moving. Looks like some loon and immune style are pushing up on the southeastern side of the palace. They're talking to each other. They're saying they don't hear anything, but that doesn't really mean anything. Nacho and Bird Person, you can see in the top of your screen, they're pushing up as well. They might be able to actually link themselves up here. They're trying to listen for feet, sees some footsteps, see if they can pick up any sort of movement inside. But Satan seems to be having his guys holding steady. They don't want to get these guys moving too much because they don't want those footsteps coming in. Well, there we go. Moose said in uh, chat that Sightless isn't moving because he's stuck. So that's probably why he's not moving. Otherwise, he probably would have because they were all around. Oh, him that's out. unfortunate. He's stuck in the pile. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to be alive. Copy. In the meantime, we got four U.S. guys have grouped up together, tossing some nades over. Grenade goes in. It went right on the other side of the sandbag from Soberpud. He lives. And they have built themselves a little bit of a maze here with sandbags. They're firing in. 
putting some shots on those windows up above where Satan, S. Klein, and a few of the other guys are pushing or are looking out. Kirkley as well. Kirkley pushing along this roof here. Looks like he's going to try to get an angle. Oh, yeah. Kirkley's Kirkley. going to peek over the top on him. Yep, he's going to he get is. himself a, three of them. Here he comes. One. Immune. Two. Yep. yep. And where is he going to see Nacho? He heard him. That was Good just two down instantly. Yep. You don't check your angles. You don't keep your head on a swivel. You don't have somebody looking everywhere. It's hard to do whenever there's only two to three people, but yeah, you don't yep. check your angles, then that's what happens. And, and I think they were all more concerned about taking cover and right. watching that doorway than actually looking on the roofs where they could be coming from. Well, shortly before that, they were they had heard those grenades come out, and I heard, I believe it was Immune calling out that those are not our nades, those are not our nades, so I'm pretty sure that they were concerned in the things that would be coming in and then not so did not the look. Roof. He's getting shot at, and I think it's Serial on the roof over there. Oh, and he drops Serial, just takes it wow. from the rooftop. little pepper action, <laughs> down he goes. Dropped him like third period French. What's up, Duke in the Box? Good to have you here tonight. Oh, yeah, Nacho's Nacho, hurt really now. Hurt. Oh, Kirkley drops it. it. Oh. So now we've just got Pokesmot and Jay Remick, I believe. It's Bird Person. Oh, Bird Person as well, yeah. Pokes, Pokesmot. So never mind, Jay Remick's dead. And Sightless. Who is stuck. Okay. I'm watching the Southeast Central. Bird Person here trying to get some, some eyes into the compound, trying to see something. He might he might get a shot on Clot now. He's peeking around the corner. It looks like Poke oh. Smot is stuck as well. Yeah. Yep. Poke Smot's stuck. Sightless is stuck. If Sightless is still alive, which he is, he's still down there alive, stuck in hell. Poke Smot's stuck. So we're down to Bird Person, pretty much. And he's saying, "Here I am." Yep. He takes a few shots. Runs himself around to the side. And takes cover in this little building here. He's looking out this window. This is bird person here is. in front of you. He's the only real threat right now because he's the only one not stuck left. Right, the US. right. Superpod and Magnetic still holding those positions that they've been holding. All game, you can see them right over here in this corner. But then, that's part of the one life thing. Here. You gotta. It takes discipline to to play this way and hold a position. Oh, absolutely. Because, well, here mean, comes bird person though. One shot and you're done. Yep, one headshot and that's it for the entire match. Bird person pushing around to the north here. We're Torch gonna stick Mach, with him. Towards Mock is right, right at the door, staring right at the door. He's person, ready. I need it. There and that's that. Yes. We're probably going to see him call a good game now. I'm going to let everyone know that everyone else is stuck. Pull back here a little bit. Well, oh, Pokesmot killed himself. I cannot move. It's down to Sightless. Oh my god, Sightless got somebody. He got Sneaky Sniper. Actually got him. Oh wow. In this compound here, we've got quite a few. Oh, notes, he got another one. Quite a few guys up. He's killed a couple. He's just clearing them out over there. I wonder if they can't get him. I wonder if I don't. I think they might not be able to see him or something, but but I really don't know. So we play the waiting game. Yeah, you might want to be standing this, by the way. I literally cannot stand up. One of them could just climb that ladder and look down. They know he's in there. Yeah, they they've been looking at that area. Oh yeah, everybody's on nine point five. Duke in the box, everybody. I'll just say he's just waiting in this hallway. We got a new squad two command. Yeah. All right. There's two guys stuck. There's two guys. Oh, here we go. 
Jackal Purcell's going to look down and maybe maybe see him here. Oh, yeah, here it comes. There it is. And that's oh. good game. Oh, thank God. That is good game. GG's in chat. What the fuck? I'll type it. He swam when he died. Just poor sightless his body sitting here where he was stuck for half the game. Poor guy. He's vibrating a little bit. He uh, seems to be a little sad about uh, the situation. He might be crying. How do we finish 31 to 22? So the U.S. great showing. Usually it's a little more of a stomp fest by the insurgents. And this definitely is catered to the insurgents. But uh, the U.S. had a good out coming out. What we're going to do now is... Oh, oh let me boys. thank the cameras first. Got to thank the cameras. Because yeah, there's definitely. like 11 people besides Matter and myself that are doing this. And that's a... We've got a few squad leaders you'll see. Tedish, Server Error 404, Truth Realm, Shadowed Ritual. Uh, Best Pony is streaming as well, and he's command. Other guy, Xbit also is a squad leader and he's streaming. The other guys you'll see are It's Crispy, J Remick, Hyper Evo, A Crazy Russian, and Merrick 362. Uh, let's see. Hitchens Big got six guys, guys with yeah. that. With that, uh, I think he was a scout class. So good job. Had a good IED, good positioning. Great job by everybody all around. Four kills for Sightless where he was stuck. Four for Poke Smot. Great job by them. We're switching teams real quick. They're going to do some briefing. Uh, and we'll start up again shortly, right after we set up and take a quick break. Maybe we'll show you guys some of our SOTT videos, which is Squad Ops training and tactics. So, so yeah, we'll be right back. I'm Muff. This is CMYK Matter. Signing off. For 30 seconds. For 30.